Hello, good morning. I'm fully rested. I got some sleep. I actually slept in this morning a little bit, which isn't normal for me. I usually am like a 5 a.m. every morning type of girl. Because, you know, that's when I wake up for school every day. To go teach the youth of America. You know? Alright. Hold on. Full screen, full screen. Hi. It is time. We're gonna play more Pokemon Violet. We got a little bit started last night, but I just got really tired. But today I'm hoping to really um, play quite a bit more. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I have been liking it so far. So, is this good? I'm just checking everything. Bloop, bloop. Ah, uh, this weekend's gonna be really busy. So tomorrow's my family Thanksgiving, and then today is like my only day to like clean and everything before I go to Vegas on Tuesday. So I'm just really ah, uh, got so much crap. I started uh packing. This is my uh, version of packing. I just throw stuff on my bed and then I'll throw it in a suitcase. Um, I'll have to run to the store today, get like all those supplies I need for traveling or whatever, and then I'm gonna try to clean my apartment before I leave because I like to come home from a trip to a clean house, and I won't be coming back until next Sunday at like, I won't be home till like midnight, so I won't really have time next weekend to clean anyways, so I kind of would like to come back to it being clean before I start my new work week, um, the week after, so... Yeah, today's a busy day for me. I have a lot that I have to do, but um, I, I want to play some Violet first to start off my fine Saturday. And then, of course, tomorrow I'm very busy because we have our family Thanksgiving. So today's kind of my last day to get stuff ready for my Vegas trip. Because on Monday, obviously, I work. I, I work all day with the children. And then Tuesday... I work all day with the children, and then somehow I'm supposed to catch my flight two hours after school ends. So that's going to be a bit stressful, but I think I, I think I can manage. <laughs> I do plan on um, f uh, vlogging my Vegas trip. I, I do plan on it. We'll see how, how well I do at remembering. But I'm pretty much just going to Vegas to, like, have a break with my cousin. We're just kind of going to like hang out, see some shows, maybe do some drinking and gambling. I don't know. I don't really drink that much. So, but yeah, just go like have a nice little fun break from school. We both work at schools, so it's nice to get away for a little while. But anyways, without further ado, game capture. Game capture, it's time. We're gonna get right into it because I love this game already. It's gonna be sad because I can't play Pokemon Violet for like another week until I get back from Vegas. I plan on doing a m really early morning stream tomorrow to play for a little bit before my Thanksgiving celebration. But otherwise, we won't be playing for like a week, man. That's a long time. I might stream Monday after school, we'll see. Pokemon Violet. Here we go. I'm excited. Part of me wants to play like Scarlet off stream just to compare the two. You know what I'm saying? Like it's going to be the same exact thing. Head to the lighthouse right here. The lighthouse. There's someone with a backpack. What the heck? Who is this? Why that little? What are you doing out here? Oh my gosh, is this his? He's so angry. I'm not talking to you two. You can shove off. Oh my god. He didn't even ask us who we are. Wait, I know you. Aren't you Arvin? You're enrolled in the humanities track, right? Oh, they know each other. And aren't you the son of that Pokemon researcher, Professor Turo? 
Oh my gosh. Doesn't matter who my dad is. The real issue here is what in the world this Pokemon is doing out here. And what is with this form it's in. Um, I met it at the bottom of this cliff. See, we heard this strange cry and we tried to investigate, but Audrey fell off a cliff. Just casually falling off cliffs, don't mind me. <laughs> that Pokemon saved her, but it seems like it wore itself out in the process. It got kind of slumpy afterward. But you should have seen it before. It looked totally different. It was unbelievably strong. Well, yeah, as it should be, but it can't fight while it's like this. The form Mirrodon takes in battle. That's its true form. Mirrodon, is that this Pokemon's name? How do you d know it? You can't go in the lab. It's locked. I don't remember ever seeing you around, but given the uniform, you go to the academy too. Why is he so pressed? Like, what did I do? I just kind of showed up. I'm just helping a Pokemon that was in distress. Like, he's so angry. You go to the academy too, do you? Yes. Veridon isn't the sort of Pokemon that any old trainer can hope to command. It's special. Special how? What sort of Pokemon is it? You think you're up to ordering Mirrodon around. Then how about I test your worthiness? Jesus, everything's a test in this game. Sure. Well, look at you. Quite the little go-getter. I've been feeling all out of sorts, so I'm going to use this battle to blast th these doldrums away. I'm battling him? Oh my god. Oh god, here we go. He's a bully. He's a bully, your honor. Oh, he just has a squirrel. We're fine. Come on, Leafy. We got this. It's just a squirrel. These memories are leaving a bad taste in my mouth and I want it gone. What the heck? Alright, it's time. Sick him! Yes! Ow! It bit me back! Um, what about leafage? Is that gonna do much? Oh, he's one hit. Oh, my defense fell, bruh. Okay, one hit away. I'm gonna bite him again. Bite him where it hurts. That was easy. Does he have more? Oh, I thought he was gonna whip out another Pokemon. I guess not. Cool. Da, 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 da. We did it. Seems you know a thing or two about battle. Yes, clearly. Is he finally going to be nice to me? Hello? Oh, here we go. I thought it was lagging. <laughs> wow, Audrey, that was awesome. I guess I wasn't ever going to stand a chance using some Pokemon I'd only just caught. Well, obviously. But if you really think you can take Mirrodon off my hands for me, you'll need this. It's a Pokeball that Brute's been kept in. Ooh, I got his Pokeball. Wow. Can I catch him now? So why'd you have it? Anyway, that thing is your problem now, not mine. Good luck. My problem? What? Oi, can you not hear me or something? Fine, be that way, but you better actually show up for school. What a weirdo. <laughs> Aw, we're friends. <gasps> I caught it. it. That Arvin guy definitely knows more than he's letting on. Next time he and I are battling, I'm gonna wring some answers out of him. But alright, we gotta climb the lighthouse. Can't wait to show you the view of our school. Aw, we're gonna see the view from the lighthouse. 
Do I get to climb the ladder? Eh. Climb. All right. Wow. <gasps> There's our school. I see it. I see it. Is that where I live? No, I live this way. Oh. Yeah, I live right down there. Past that mansion. That's her house. I live right down there. I'm not even going to be living that far away from school and my mom acts like I'm moving across the world. That's not even that far. Look, Audrey. That's Mezagosa. Huh? And that huge building with the Pokeball on it is our school. Wow. Honestly, the graphics aren't the greatest. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> It's going to be so great having you in the same class. I'm looking forward to it, too. Honestly, she's kind of growing on me. Right? I can't wait to get back. We're going to get to learn so much and battle so, so much. Isn't it awesome what you can see from up here? Yeah, it's great. Mountains, forests, grasslands, beautiful nature stuff as far as the eye can see. And you know what's waiting for you all over these natural spaces? Tons of Pokemon. Cool. Consider this me officially telling you, welcome to Podia. But anyway, like you can see, it's kind of a hike to get to school from here. Yeah, there's a gas station down there too, a 7-Eleven. Let's make it to Los Platos for starters. That's right on the way. Okay, Los Platos. Vamos, come on. Vamos, we go. All right. We gotta go to Los Platos. Go down the ladder. Los Platos. I think it's this way. Ooh, Pokemon. Lechonk. South Province, Area 1. Oh, hey, let's battle. This is going to be like taking candy from a kid. Look at how small he is. Can we battle? Yes. You are challenged by youngster Elian. Oh my gosh, he's so little. Oh my god. Please don't tell me he's going to be hard to beat. Oh, level 5. That's not bad. Okay. Not very effective. Effective. Let's bite it. Oh, again, again. Cool. We beat the kid. That was easy. I'm leveling up my Pokemons. Wow. <gasps> I made the kid sad. Okay, I actually kind of feel bad. I feel bad. Whatever. It is what it is. Sometimes you gotta humble the children. <gasps> A Psyduck! 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 Wow, level six. Okay, we gotta damage him a little bit. Let's do some leafage. Yeah, take, oh! Okay, honestly, I didn't mean to do that. I, I kind of meant to catch it, but you know, it is what it is sometimes. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, well. <laughs> well. What the hell? How do I like see my uh... I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like where's my Pokemon that I've caught? You know what I'm saying? 
Okay, that's the Pokédex. My phone. Oh, okay. These are the Pokémons I have. My boxes. What's my my boxes? Oh, yes. Okay. This is where my Pokémon are kept. Okay. All right. We can work with this. Okay. I kind of wanted to catch a Psyduck to add it. Is this Wurmple? No. <gasps> it's so cute. It's adorable. A deerling. Oh my god, it's so cute. I'm gonna quickly scratch it in the eyeballs and then I'll try to catch it. Oh, that didn't do much. Okay, we'll whip it with our tail. Yeah, whip it. Growl. My attack fell. Honestly, I think we could just go in and try to catch it. A deerling. Yay! Yay! I wonder what level all of these Pokemon evolve at. Okay. The deerling. I'm only gonna give them... Oh, whoops. I'm only gonna give them nicknames if... I'm keeping them in my... My party. Lechonk. We already have a Lechonk. Bro, I'm having too much fun looking for Pokemon. I'm having too much fun. Ah, uh, we already have one of those. We already have Lechonk. I want to catch, like, all the new ones to add to our Pokedex. La 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 la. La 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 la. Maybe we should continue the story. We can do some exploring later. La 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 la. Ooh. We don't have one of these yet. Let's try to catch it. A Fletchling? Fletchling. This might kill it. We'll just catch it. I don't think we need to weaken it. Shouldn't be too difficult to catch. Woohoo! We got a Fletchling. Bro, why is Sprigatito floating midair? Oh, Hone Claws. All right, well, Hone Claws. Oh, it boosts attack. Uh, maybe above. Yeah, we could replace Tail Whip, maybe. Cool. We registered the Fletchling. Oh, I don't want it in my party. Cool. Yay! Oh my dog. What the heck? <clears throat> okay. The 7 Eleven! Is there more Pokemons? Ooh! Yes! So cute! Is this a uh, Iggly Buff? Yeah. Okay. Bite it. Wow. A critical hit. I'm gonna try to catch it. Catch it. Yay! I got an Iggly Buff. I kind of want Iggly Buff with me. I should replace one of the other ones I don't really care about as much, like the Diglett. 
Because it's so cute. I do want to give it a nickname. I'm going to add this one to my party. I'm going to name it Puff. 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 Hi, Puff. I'm adding to my party. I'm going to replace my Diglett. Because who cares about Diglets? Not me. Not me. Let me see. So, for our uh, Pokédex. Hmm. Alrighty. We got Iggly Buff. Ooh. Oh, I don't. I'm not you, bro. I already got one of you. I just run away. I didn't. I didn't mean for this to happen. Sorry. I choose you. Got to catch this one. A Fido, Fido, Fido. I'm gonna bite it. Wow, wow. Oh, that did nothing. That's cool. Oh, whatever. Let's just catch it. Catch it, catch it. Yay! I just never miss. I have yet to miss one. We got a Fido. Oh, I got Fairy Wind? Fairy Wind. Yeah, we should probably uh, switch that one out. Tail Whip. Tackle, splash. Let's uh, replace splash. Cool. We're sending Fido to the boxes. Fido is in the boxes. Okay. I think we're good. Let's continue the story. Oi, Audrey, over here. Wow. This here is a Pokemon Center. You can come here to take care of a lot of things related to your Pokemon. But I'll leave the explanations to the pros here. Okay, the pros. Happy to be of service and welcome to the Pokemon Center. I'm here to keep everyone's Pokemon healthy. Here on my left is the Pokemart counter. You can buy things like Pokeballs and potions. Hello, we accept payment both in cash and in league points. That is, one LP is worth one dollar. And this to my right is the technical machine, TM machine for short. It's your ticket to making TMs, which you can use to teach moves to your Pokemon. You'll need to pay an LP and supply the machine with materials that Pokemon drop. LP comes in handy both at these machines and at stores. I've got a lot here. Have some. Ooh, that was nice. She's giving us some. Ooh, 5,000 LP. Oh, yeah, and some of these, too. I received lots of Pokemon materials. Nice. And at the Union Circle, you can connect with other trainers to find yourself some adventuring companions. Oh, that's how you play with people. Come visit us at the Pokemon Center anytime you need help. Cool. We will, thanks. Remember, had a rough adventure? Get to the Pokemon Center. Sometimes you have to know this sort of stuff for quizzes at school. Oh, Jesus. But mnemonics help out. Here's another one. Are you ready? Then let's go. Goofy, sure, but it helps you remember you can send your lead Pokemon out with the R button. Oh, okay. That way you can have... The Pokemon that's walking with you go pick up items lying around. Or go battle on its own or other stuff like that. Oh, that's how you throw your Pokemon out. Okay. An auto battle. I want to try an auto battle. Let me try. Head to Mezagoza? Not yet. I want to try this auto-battling, please. 
Let's try this. Auto battle. <gasps> Leafy wore itself out and came back to you. Bro. What you mean? Well, that's kind of cool. We can auto battle. Pokeball. Alrighty. They're so cute. There are any other Pokemons over here? No. No! I didn't mean to run into you, bro! Honestly... I did not mean to do that. Um... Bro, why are there so many kids in this game? There's so many little children. Oh my god, why are there so many kids? There's so many kids. Oh my god. Alright, we need to go to... Uh, hmm... How do we open our map again? How do we open our map? My phone. Yep, okay. Where are we going again? Oh, we have to go here. Okay, that's our destination. These houses look like houses you'd see in an episode of Dora. They really do. Or in the movie Encanto. Alrighty. La 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 la. It's time to go up here. We're going towards the castle. <gasps> Call me! I need to catch one of you. It's time! Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna just try to catch it. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? Nothing. <gasps> Everything could go wrong. No! Leafy's going to die. I need to keep Leafy alive. I'm healing Leafy. Oh, thank goodness. Bug bite. This is ridiculous. Leafage. Yeah, take that. That didn't even work. Bro, bro, we gotta dip. This is too hard for us. We're not ready for this type of commitment. We'll have to come back later for the combi. I almost just died to a freaking combi. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Ale chonk. Any other new Pokemons over here? Just out of curiosity. No. No new Pokemons. Well, let's get to the castle. Ah! There's the squirrels. Burn heel. Hmm. Psyduck. I want to catch a Psyduck. Bro, what is that thing? That thing ugly. What is that tongue? Oh my god. A shrewdle. A shrewdle. It ugly. But I'm gonna catch it. What? Are you kidding me? Oh. Oh. I forgot we were low. I should have used a different Pokemon. Bro, I should have chosen someone else. Cherry, it's your time to shine. Get out there, buddy. Okay, I guess we could battle a little bit. Let's fairy wind. 
That did nothing. What the heck? My Pokemons are so weak. It's embarrassing. What about Tackle? Okay, that was a little bit better. Acid Spray? He's using the acid on us. Bro, this is too hard. I can't do this anymore. I hate starting out in Pokemon games. Your Pokemons are low. It's too difficult. I'm gonna catch these ones later. Mark my words. <gasps> I must. I must. I'm sorry. It's time. I must. Okay. Tackle. Come on, Lechonk. What? Okay. It worked a little bit. One more time. Come on, McRib. You can do this. Okay, now we're gonna attempt to catch it. I must have a Pichu. I must. It's the only option in my life that I need right now. Yay! I secured the bag. Pichu, Pichu, Pichu. Alright, I got a Pichu. I'm going to give it a nickname. I'm gonna name it P Chew. <laughs> I'm so funny. I'm adding P Chew to my party. <laughs> uh, who do we not like that much? I could care less about. Okay, McRib is kind of a moment. We can't get rid of McRib. I think we get rid of Bugga. Bugga can go away. All right, I got a Pichu. That's exciting. That's exciting. I seized my opportunities. Ugh. You ugly, too. We'll work on our Pokeducks later. We have work to do. It's time to go to the castle. Time to go to the castle. I just have a need to collect all these Pokeballs. I don't know why. I don't like walking past them and not grabbing them. Let's go try out this little Pokemon stop. I kind of want to heal somebody. I want to see how this works. Okay. I like to heal my Pokemon. Oh, they only take them for a few seconds? Oh. Does it cost me anything? They just do it for you? Oh. Okay. That was easy. So we just go talk to these people. It's for free and they just heal your Pokemon. Cool. Alright, it's time. Can I go in this way? The door is so huge. Bro, look at how small I am compared to that door. It's time to go in. Oi, Audrey. Oh my god. She always says oi. Oi. Dija. 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 Did ya battle some trainers on the hill? Bet your Pokemon are getting stronger. How about you show me how much you all have learned in a battle? Oh my god, already? She wants to battle me again? Oh my god, another fruitful battle. Oh my god. Why? She's always wanting to battle. Okay. Waxly. Here goes Leafy. You seem like you're getting better at this, so I'm coming at you with two Pokemon. Jesus. Jesus. Uh, leafage. Get him. Yes. I am getting better at this. Mm 
water gun. That was rude. Leafage again. Aya! I got Quaxley. What's her next one? Oh, that was it? Pokemon trainer Nimona is about to send out Pommy. Will you switch your Pokemon? Nope, I'm keeping Leafy. I'm keeping Leafy. Leafy's my tried and true. Pommy is so cute, though. Look at Pommy. I literally don't want to kill it. Um. What do I do? Bite it? I think I bite it. <gasps> I think I better pull out my ace in the hole. What? What is she doing? She is cheating. What is it? What is going on? Huh? Homie is cheating. What the heck? Pommy's static. Leafy is paralyzed. Oh, dear lord. Terrestrializing is always a solid strategy. It gives moves of the Pokemon. I can't even read that fast. Thundershock. Ow. Okay, so she's just embarrassing me at this point. Bro, how do you fight this? Does leafage work well? What the heck? How do I fight this? Leafy's paralyzed. Should I grab somebody else? I don't have a water Pokemon to fight this one. I'm gonna try Pichu. What does Pichu got? We can fight electric with electric. Oh my gosh, this guy is so annoying. Thunder shock him back. How do you fight this? I'm confused. What do you do to fight this? He's paralyzed, he's fainted, everyone's just not thriving. Am I supposed to lose this battle? How do you fight it? Pound. Sing. Copycat. Pound? I don't know. How am I supposed to fight this, bro? He just keeps thunder shocking. How do you fight that? I'm so confused. Am I supposed to, like, lose this? A critical hit? Nice one. I have a hard time landing those when I try. Cool. Bro, this is embarrassing. I hate this lady. I never want to speak to her again. She's embarrassing me. Right in front of the school doors. Alright, it's time for McRib. How do you fight this? That's my question. This man's almost dead. I'm just confused. What the heck? Do I ever get to attack it? Oh, there we go. It's dead. Finally. Thank God. My poor Pokemons are all dead. Bro, she always is giving me that look. Man, I can't believe how fast you're improving. Yep, yep, I am improving all right. Amazing, look at you, taking on a terrestrialized opponent and winning no problem. Come to think of it, you can't terrestrialize your Pokemon yet, huh? Don't worry, I'll get you taken care of. You're so good with Pokemon battles, I forget how new you are to this stuff sometimes. Anyway, it was fun to battle you. Here, have some revives as thanks. Yeah, I'm gonna need those, because you killed all my Pokemon. Uh, 
All right, time to go into the doors. It looks like a chocolate bar. These doors look like I'm going to Candyland. Now Mezagos is waiting just past this gate. At last, the city where our school is. Oh, it's like a gated city. There's a ton of hills and stairs and stuff in the city, so I'm going to take a quick breather and then catch up with you soon. Cool. She's going to take a breather. The doors are opening. First day of school. First day of school. This is so cool. It's like a private little city. There's lots of people. Alright, here I am. We finally made it, huh? This is Mezagoza, the biggest city in Paldea. It's been a big trade hub since a long time ago. Lots of folks come here to learn about advances in technology and all kinds of other stuff. There's a hair salon where you can change your look, plus places with tasty food and fixings. What do you want to see first? The hair salon, of course. Oh, you're a fashionista, are you? Or maybe you just want a practical do that won't get in your eyes when you're battling. Yeah, I kind of want a new hairstyle. Speaking of battling, I want to be sure you'll be able to terrestrialize your Pokemon too. There's a few things that got to get done for that to happen, but I'll take care of them. Oh, thank you. Meanwhile, you just have fun looking around the city a bit. There's so much to do. Grab a bite, buy some accessories to spice up your uniform. If you want my personal recommendation, you've got to see Delibird Presents. They sell handy items for Pokemon to hold. Okay. Once you've seen your fill, we can meet up again in front of the school. Just be ready. The stairs up to school are no joke. Okay. Later, then get pumped for some terrestrializing. Cool. All right. Cool. I want to walk around and look at things. Whoa. That is a big squirrel. This guy kind of... Kind of... Hmm. Anyways... You can battle down there. A sandwich shop. Coffee shop. Are all these shops open? Like, I could go in any of these shops. They're all real. Do -do -do -do. This one looks real. Hmm. Oh, it looks like this one I can interact with. That one looks like a food place. There's like little alleys. Little alleys. Wow. It's just kind of a cool city. Wow. You can go back here. That's where the door is. There's combies up there. There's even more up here. This is a pretty big area. You arrived at your destination. Huh? Did I? I don't think I did. Coffee. She is so cute. The kids in this game are so adorable. I cannot. Okay. Hmm. Oh, here's the hair salon. We should go inside here. Hair salon. <gasps> wow. 
wow, I'm at the salon, man. I kind of want a new hairstyle. Hairstyling is $3,000 sold. I want a new hairstyle. Oh, is it just literally... It's literally just the hairs that you get at the beginning of the game. This is stupid. Whoops. How do I get out of here? You can't really buy new hairstyles. It's just kind of like the ones they already have in the game. Hmm. Interesting. I kind of want to take this hat and backpack off. It's kind of annoying me. I'm not going to lie. How do I like change my look? my look of myself. I wanna take off my stupid hat. I haven't learned how to do that yet. Oh, this is so cool. These are all the types of Pokemons. This kind of reminds me in Tangled, like, you know, the little plaza with the big bright colors. Yeah, this is all the types of Pokemon. That's really cool. And then it's a rainbow Pokeball. That's really cute. Cool. I think this area is probably just a lot of the same as well. Cool, cool. This bro's playing a Nintendo Switch. That's actually so cute. The cute little touches in this game are just adorable. Cute. All right, I think I'm good. I think I'm gonna head to school. I'm going to school. What the heck? Why do I have scratch marks across my arm? Do you see that? You literally can't see it. I have scratches across my whole arm. I literally did not scratch my arm. So, I don't know why that's happening. Alright. Time to go up the stairs. I'm going to go up to school. I'm going to gain some knowledge. Yo, this guy looked just like me. Yo, hey, everybody. I need to make more friends. What is going on here? Don't you get it? If you join Team Star, you can shine as bright as anybody. Yo, this guy looks like my type of friend. I like his Eevee backpack. Seriously, what's with you? Don't you want to burn bright with awesome friends like us? Not really. Okay, honestly, that's how I feel. I wouldn't want to be in Team Star. Look, we've got a quota we're supposed to fill for new members, so just sign up already. Oh my god. Um, I'd rather not. I'm gonna help her out. Huh? You want in on this too? No. I'm helping this girl. If you're here to sign up, we'll get to you next. We've nearly got this one in the bag. We're Team Star Kid. We burn so bright it hurts to look at us. But you knew that, right? <laughs> Bro, I can't. No. Uh, another ignorant little nobody. <laughs> here, I'm finally part of Team Star and still I get no respect. I gotta work my way up the ranks. Hey, we can't just let something like this slide. The honor of our team's on the line, so we've got no real choice but to battle, yeah? Oh my god, I got a battle. That's true, you keep watch on the little four eyes over there. I'll make sure this fresh-faced nobody ends up seeing stars. Oh my god. 
Oh god, not the star. Oh my god, the entrance. No. No. Okay, we gotta win. We gotta win. I have to win for my own pride. A level eight. Okay, we're gonna bite it. Bite it. Cool. Mm. Let's scratch it with our claws. Wow. Bro, your Pokemon is booty cheeks. That was the easiest battle I've ever won. Ever. She talks too big of a game to be that bad. She is so upset. How come I'm the one seeing stars? <laughs> oh, God. And is gracious. Irk, why is a nobody like you so good at battling anyway? That's just not right. <laughs> no way she beat you. Does that mean I gotta battle this kid now since I'm higher up Team Star's ranks? Pero Bueno, what do you think you're doing? She's upset. Ugh, it's that student council dweeb. She's gonna report us if we don't book it. I can't believe you, Audrey. You don't have to go find randos to battle. You'll have all the battles you'll ever need with me. Oh my gosh, I was defending somebody. That's not really what happened. Wait, they picked a fight with you? Wow, I read that way wrong. Sorry. I get it now. You two have got Team Star written all over you for sure. I bet you were trying to pressure people into signing up again, weren't you? Uh, hi. We weren't not doing that. <laughs> He's so nervous. Well, that explains it. As head of the student council, stopping this type of nonsense would normally be my job. But this is also the perfect chance for you to try my amazing and ultra rare gift to you. Ooh, a Terra Orb. That's cool. An orb that holds within its the power to crystallize. When it is charged with energy, it can be used to cause Pokemon to terrestrialize. Cool. With that Terra Orb, you can terrestrialize your Pokemon during battle. Let's see, after it terrestrializes, I'm pretty sure your Sprigatito will be a grass type. Normally, you've got to take special classes to be able to get one of these Terra Orbs, but I put in a good word for you. Now time to give it a whirl. You'll learn to use it faster in battle than if I just explain it to you. Okay, cool. We're going to practice it. Wait, what? You want this kid to practice wailing on us with her Terra Pokemon? Is that it? Got a problem? You want to battle me instead? Hmm, never mind. I'll take my chances with the new kid. Then take your places in battle. Yo, I get to fight the nervous Nelly now. I have to terrestrialize my Pokemon. Oh, not the star, Jesus. Alright, this guy's nervous, so I think I got this in the bag. Alright, here we go. Here, uh, uh, crystallized through a strange phenomenon. The people call this terrestrializing. When a Pokemon terrestrializes, its type changes to its Terra type. Moves of the same type as this Terra type will become much more powerful. Cool. So it has to be healed. Okay. Alright, so I use my little... Wait, how do I do it? How do I do it? Where is it? Terrestrialize. Here we go. I'm terrestrializing. It's happening. Yes. I'm invincible. I'm invincible. Wow. Sprigatito looks so cool. I look like an emerald. With flowers on my head. Hiya. Ooh, almost a one-shot. Bro, that didn't even put a dent in me. Okay, we are going to scratch it. Round, round. That was so easy. Yay! Oh, he's so upset. <laughs> Too bad, so sad. 
Nice, you pulled off terrestrializing, no problem. Moves of your Pokemon's terror type will hit even harder when it's terrestrialized, you know. Sometimes you'll find a Pokemon whose terror type is totally different from its usual type. That difference can open up your strategic options. Gotta charge your terror orb at a Pokemon Center after every use by healing up your team, though. Okay. Well, I'll be on my wary way then, yeah? Hasta la vista! <laughs> Me too, hasta la vista! That is so weird. So yeah, Team Star is basically a group of students that like to kick up trouble. They hardly ever show up to class, and when they get together in groups, they're a real headache. Even the teachers don't know what to do with them, from what I hear. Oh god, I'm a teacher. Yeah, when well, you have groups of kids that kind of group up together, and then they kind of are nuisances together, that's kind of annoying. Um, excuse me? <laughs> this is the girl's just standing here. Uh, yeah, I just... Well, thanks. Oh, she's so cute. So, yeah, see you around. No, let's be friends. I want to be friends with her. Oh, look at you. Already becoming a big hero around campus. I don't think I've seen that girl around. Maybe she's a new transfer like you. That Eevee bag, though. Love that fluff. Anyway, seems like the troubles died down, so we'd better book it up to school. Get ready to climb the worst staircase in the world. The worst staircase in the world. That does look kind of brutal. That is a big staircase. <sighs> Taking a breather. Oh, we gotta continue. I wanna get to school. First day of school, first day of school. Everybody cool on the first day of school. So I just go up to the doors, is that what I'm supposed to do? I'm going in. I'm actually going in. Uva Academy. Here we are, welcome to Uva Academy. This here is the entrance hall. You can sign up for all kinds of classes at the desk behind me, and those halls are off to the sides, lead to all different parts of the school. It's totally big enough to let loose and battle in here, but for some reason they banned Pokemon battling in the main entrance. That makes sense, but okay, lady. Ms. Audrey, Ms. Nimona, how did you find your first school commute? We had a blast. I imagine Ms. Nimona's high spirits helped with that. She's a true asset to our fine academy. Now that I was expecting any lessons from our champion ranked student council president. Reliable as ever, Ms. Nimona. Honestly, if she's this high ranked class president, I've already beat her many times in battle. Well, I know how to look after my friends, right, Audrey? Yeah, I suppose. Oh, but speaking of which, we saw some of those Team Star kids in down, Director. You did where? It was down the stairs from the front gates. They were hassling this kid with an Eevee backpack. That is quite the news. Are they still to be found out there? Actually, Audrey flexed on him and ran him off. I flex in. You don't say. Of course, it's a fine thing to try to help a fellow student, Miss Audrey, but you might wish to show a bit of restraint as you find your feet here at our academy. Bro, I was helping someone in distress. And Ms. Nimona, do remember that the school staff is here to resolve any school troubles. Alright, yes sir, Director. A child with an Eevee backpack, you say? I suppose that might have been Ms. Penny. I'm relieved to hear she's come to class, at least. Uh, and Ms. Nimona, if you'd be so good, do report to Mr. Jock about this Team Star business. As your homeroom teacher, he should be kept apprised of all such going on. So who's Mr. Jock? You got it, sir. Ah, uh, but look at the time. You two had better hurry along. Classes will be starting soon. We're in class 1A. Come on, I'll show you the way. Ooh. Uva Academy. Our logo is a bunch of grapes. <gasps> my classroom! My professor! Good morning, Mr. Jock. Hello, hello, everyone. We have some exciting news this morning. Who wants to hear it? Ooh, me, I want to hear the news. 
I suppose I should have told you sooner, but we have a new little friend joining our happy homeroom as of today. <laughs> That's me. I wonder what they'll be like. Alright, you can come on in. It's me, it's me, it's me. Oh god, take the hat off. <laughs> Girl, take that hat off. Could I trouble you for a few words introducing yourself? Uh... Sure, I'm Audrey. Did you hear that? She seems super friendly and fun. Looks like everyone's eager to get to know you. Alright then, who wants to be the first to ask our new friend a question? Oh god. I'm gonna get drilled. Mimi, can I ask a question? What's your favorite thing about Pokemon? Um... I like collecting Pokemon. Really awesome, I'm totally the same. Does anyone else have a question for their new classmate? Me, I have a question. Bro, she's so annoying. Like, girl, I just spent the last freaking century roaming the area with you. Like, you can ask me questions at any other time. You went to all the trouble of enrolling here, so spill, Audrey. What do you hope to get out of it? You must have some kind of dream, right? Um... I want to complete the Pokedex. I'm glad I got you set up with that Pokedex app if you like collecting that much. I do. Like, honestly, I love collecting Pokemon. Even more so than battling. Well, thank you for telling us a bit about yourself. I'm Mr. Jock. I teach biology here at the academy, and I'm also your homeroom teacher. That's your seat second row from the front. Wow, my seat. All right, you ragamuffins. Be nice and friendly to your new classmate. This teacher is so weird. <laughs> We will, Mr. Jock. Seems like a nice class, to be honest. Like, they seem like they're, like, middle school aged. For middle school aged people to be this nice, that's pretty good. Get to know the Academy campus by exploring a bit on your own. Okay. A biology class is available. A math class is available. A battle class is available. Oh my god, I get to go to classes? That's so cool, man. I'm going to move around the school. I'm going to go to... Ooh, cafeteria. Staff room. We can go in the staff room. Classroom 1A. Let's go to the cafeteria. That's where all the action usually is, right? The cafeteria. <gasps> Ooh, we even got little kids at this school. Bro, we got like pre-K and kindergarten students. That's so cute. All right, what can I eat? What can I eat? Bro, I don't want to go anywhere. I want to walk around the cafeteria. Ooh, there's tea. Welcome. Oh, hi, lady. Hope your studies are going okay. What do you have today? Ooh, I could have a meal. <gasps> wow, it's so expensive. Jesus, a pickle sandwich? Bro, they weren't kidding when they said that the school lunches were ruined. God damn. Gross school lunches. I can just walk into the kitchen like that. Bro, that's cool. All right, let's go check out the staff room. I think my, my friend's in the staff room. Oh, am I supposed to buy something in here? Fine, I'll eat a pickle sandwich. It's the cheapest. I'll pay with cash. 